Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. So you can see I am back in front of my Blu-ray wall, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, you can see I'm actually bookended by the Lord of the Rings Extended Trilogy and the Chucky series on Blu-ray, which is just perfect. So excited to be back in front of my newly organized shelves. And if you want to see me organize these, I do have a video here on the channel, maybe about a week, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, whatever whatever it was, uh, that I posted where I was uh, sharing with you guys my reorganization. So now everything over here is just alphabetical. Everything over here is horror alphabetical. This is basically everything else, all the other genres. So check out that video if you're interested, but I'm rambling for no reason because that's not why you're here. You're here to check out this box here. And this is a box from Mill Creek Entertainment. These are their July releases. So I don't know if it's all of them or some of them at this point, but I'm excited to open this up and see what's inside. Uh, like I talked about previously, I did start a partnership with Mill Creek, so they did send these my way in order for me to do uh, an unboxing or a review or whatever I want to do with them just to showcase them and share them with you guys so you can know what's coming out from Mill Creek in the month of July. So excited to dive into this. There's one thing in particular that I'm hoping is in here. Got my fingers crossed for that, so we will see. But anyway, before we get into it, if you guys do have a second, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to my July Mill Creek unboxing video. All right, so let's get this guy open. I think I mentioned this uh, last month, but the box last month was so light, I really had no idea what was going to be in there at all. But it turned out to be quite a good haul for different uh, Blu-rays. So this one is a bit heavier, which has me excited that the the one thing I am most excited about might be in here. But I have no idea. So let's uh, pop this guy open. We have our bubbles there. So I'm going to throw that aside. And our paper. I'm used to having a table over here, but since I moved everything around, I don't right now, so I'm a little uh, thrown off. But anyway, throwing that aside, the first up we have Safe Men. All right, so this is one that I had honestly never even heard of before, but this cast looks amazing. Sam Rockwell, Steve Zahn, Mark Ruffalo, Paul Giamatti, John Pace, like... That's an awesome cast. So I want to check this out. It says, Welcome to the world of disorganized crime. And it's supposed to be a cult hit from the co-writer of Meet the Parents and Zoo Writer. I just called it Zoo Writer. Zoo Lander, excuse me. So this is written and directed by John Hamburg. Okay, so it looks like this one came out in 1998. And this is the Blu-ray debut of Safe Men, which is always cool when you see something else going to Blu-ray, especially like these lesser known films, at least lesser known to me. Um, so... I didn't talk about this last time, but I should talk this month. I thought about it after I got done filming. I thought, you know, special features. We should go over those. Unfortunately, it looks like there are none on this disc. Now, do not take that as gospel because I'm not pop this in. I don't know that there's nothing listed on the back here. Um, it does say it's in widescreen. Audio has a DTS HD master audio track and there is English SDH uh, subtitles. But that's all that's listed. So no su no special features at all, it, it appears. And that's a little bit unfortunate. So Safe Men, we will see if this one is any good. It looks funny. Like, I love this cast. So I'm guessing it's going to be okay. All right. So let's jump over here. What do we have next? Ah, yes. I am so excited. I talked about this one in my most anticipated July releases, Basketball from 1998, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this one is... Uh, Matt Parker, I did it. I literally did it in the other video. Matt Stone and Trey Parker. I do that every single time. Anyway, this one is hilarious. This is such a great comedy if you guys have not seen this. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I did love it the first time I watched it. It's stupid comedy, so if you like... South Park, you'll probably like things like that or something like this. But I initially thought that it was actually written by these two and directed by them, but it is not. This is actually a David Zucker film. So, you know, if you like his comedies, his work, then you'll probably enjoy this. I think this is one of his better works, but that's just me. So basically, these this duo creates this game called Basketball, which is a mix of base, uh, baseball and basketball, and it kind of takes the world by storm. Uh, and it's just, it is fun. Like, look like at that. Like, Reggie Jackson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have cameos in here. Like, come on, that looks great. So another one here, a DTS Master Audio 5.1 track, English subtitles. Uh, but 
no special features listed, which I actually talked about that in my top five releases video. Um, as far as I can tell, the last Blu-ray release of this did have uh, like one or two special features on it, but unfortunately it does not look like this one does. Again, I will pop it in to verify that, but I and I don't know for sure right now, but that's how it appears on the back of the box. So that's a little bit disappointing because I would love for there to be like a definitive release of something like this because this is really a, a fun movie that honestly I think is kind of a cult hit really. So I think it deserves a little bit more than no special features, but it is what it is. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So a little backstory here. The case that this movie is uh, loosely based off of was the very reason I got into the true crime genre to begin with. I saw a book sitting on one of my best friend's uh, like end tables at their house back when I was in high school. And uh, her mom told me what it was because she was reading it. And that's how I discovered there's a true crime section at, you know, Borders at the time and Barnes and Noble and all that. And I've just been hooked ever since. I I'm obsessed with the true crime genre. This is Black Dahlia. So this one is from... Uh, the uh, it's a Brian De Palma film, another one with an amazing cast. Scarjo is in this. Uh, Josh Hartnett, Aaron Eckert, and Hilary Swank are listed on the front there. So this is like very loosely based on the true story of the Black Dahlia murder, which was a murder in Hollywood. Uh, I always forget the year. I think it was the. 40s, if I'm not mistaken, it's either the 30s or 40s. I've read books on this and I, I still just, the years cannot get stuck in my head for some reason. But either way, it's about uh, like a Hollywood scarlet who was found murdered and it's, you know, who did it? And it's still t uh, an unsolved crime today, though I will recommend the book. I'll put a picture of the book up here. I, I can't remember the name of it, but it was an excellent book. And I feel really feel like they had a, a strong argument on who the actual murderer was. So I definitely recommend that if you are interested in true crime. It was a great book. Um, but yeah, this is a movie that I don't think I've watched this. I feel like when it first came out on Blu-ray, I remember renting it. So I probably put it on, but I honestly just don't remember anything about it at all. So if I have seen it, it'll be like a first time watch for me. Again, there are no special features listed on the back here. But again, it's Mill Creek. These releases are what, like 10 to $12? So, you know, you're getting what you pay for in that regard. Another one with uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 track. That just seems to be the name of the game here for these releases. But yeah, so Brian De Palma. I mean, one of the greats, right? So really looking forward to either watching this for the first time or revisiting it. Um, but I would like to do, you know, a review on this just to see how it holds up, how it compares to the actual story of the Black Dahlia and things like that. But um, it is very... Uh, from, you know, what I remember of like trailers and maybe of what I've seen of it, it is kind of, uh, it's very stylized. So uh, very much in that 30s, 40s Hollywood. So I, I, I'm excited about this and, uh, you know, watching this one on Blu-ray for the first time. So The Black Dahlia with Brian De Palma. And I'm so excited. It is in the box, which I was hoping because it's a little bit heavier. Number four and the last one for this month. This is cool. And it's not cool because I know the show, but the show sounds amazing. And I was going to buy this one either way. Uh, this is Sequest DSV, the complete series on Blu-ray. And as far as I know it, this is the Blu-ray debut of this series. So this is exciting because I've never seen this series, but I've heard so many good things about it recently, ever since the Blu-ray was announced that it was coming out on the complete series. A lot of people have been talking about how they really enjoyed it back when. So I believe... I believe this took place or this aired from 1993 to 1996 and it runs three seasons. I believe it's about 53 ish episodes, if I'm not mistaken. And there are some bonus features, new interviews and featurettes with series creator, directors and crew, plus some deleted scenes. This one is in 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio, which would be the original aspect ratio. So good on Mill Creek. They didn't try to stretch out the image for no reason whatsoever, unlike uh, that RoboCop TV series released recently on Blu-ray. But anyway, yeah, this is a 10, I don't know if you can see it there, but a 10 disc set. I am so excited to see this. So it says Journey into the Earth's Last Frontier. So I believe what this one, oh, I guess it's 57 episodes from three seasons. My apologies, I messed that one up. Uh, but this one takes place in the mid 21st century as humankind expands its undersea uh, colonization efforts and a tenuous world peace is enforced by the united earth oceans love it so it's like not post-apocalyptic but it set, uh, takes place in the future and they're living like under the sea I, like i just i love the premise of this so like i am so excited to check this out and see what in the world it's all about let me know down below if you guys watched this when it was new or if you caught it streaming at all 
Beneath the Surface Lies the Future. So like I love like future society type shows and that's exactly what this sounds like. So I am really just looking forward to checking this one out and I am so thankful this was in the box. Like I said, I was going to pick this one up either way. So I'm happy it was here. Um, obviously, I probably would have waited for a sale because I'm cheap. That's just, You guys know that. But uh, yeah, excited to have Sequest DSV, the complete series. Let me, guys, let, let me know if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this. I might not do a complete series review because that would take me a very long time to watch all three seasons. But maybe I'll, you know, watch the first season and kind of give my thoughts on the show as a whole from there. Um, but let me know if you're interested in that at all. So excited for Sequest DSV. We have the Black Dahlia, Basketball, which I absolutely love, and Safe Men making its Blu-ray debut. So those are the four releases that I ended up getting from Mill Creek this month. All right, so there they are, all four that are coming from Mill Creek Entertainment in the month of July. And like I did last month, you guys should have seen all of the re release dates and the MSRP as I was going through these to know, you know, when they're coming out. So let me know what you guys are excited about that's coming from Mill Creek this month. Anything in this pile that looks like something you might need to own, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, let me know if any of these are movies that you absolutely hate. I would love to hear about that as well. Any and all comments comments down there. I always do appreciate those. So thank you guys so much for all of that support. And another huge thank you to Mill Creek for partnering up with the channel and sending these my way. I am so excited to talk about these every month. But with that said, guys, if you did enjoy this one, please give this video a like down below. That engagement really does help me out. And like I always say, I don't just talk movies. I talk all things media, be it books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>